from Hobart and William Smith Colleges, this is Meet the Campus with John Heavey. Each week, we'll take you into the offices, residence halls, and workspaces of real HWS people. This week, we'll pick the brain of senior Dan Denos, step into the office of Hobart Dean Eugen Baer, and sit down with the Associate Dean for Teaching, Learning, and Assessment, Susan Pliner. So join me this week and every week for Meet the Campus with me, John Heavey, the most trusted name in news. Hobart senior Dan Denos never takes a day off. He created his own major, the Rhetoric of Leadership, and started his own developmental program for underprivileged boys. Dan is committed to being a leader in his community. Who, who, who knows where my role may take me? You know, maybe I may end up going to politics, but uh, for now, I don't know. I originally was a little nervous about you know uh, coming to Hobart William Smith because I thought everyone going to college had an idea what they wanted to major in, and I had no clue whatsoever. Taking different courses, history courses, you know, uh, political science courses, things like that. The idea of rhetoric of leadership came about. Rhetoric of leadership deals with uh, how to become an effective leader. Public speaking is a big factor of leadership. Learning uh, about different people's cultures is a big part of leadership. Being inclusive is a big part of being a, a leader. In order to learn about national politics, you have to learn about local politics. So what I did was uh, I created an independent study called the Inner Workings of City Politics. There's a lot more to politics than just what we see on TV. There's a, a lot behind the scenes. It's been good. It's been real good. Dean Baer learned 13 languages and spent a decade as a Capuchin monk before teaching philosophy at HWS. Now, as a Dean of Hobart College, he enjoys learning from his students every day. It's a long story. And the story starts somewhere in the Swiss mountains. I studied Latin, Greek, with the intent of becoming a priest. And so, after a certain time, I did indeed become a monk, a priest, and spent 10 years in a monastery, traveling all over Europe and uh, uh, learning a lot of ancient languages. These Jesuits told me, you're not really a theologian. You're much too free a thinker. Uh, we just know the perfect future for you. And I said, and what would that be? And they said, America. I have been learning from students for my 40 years here. And there is not a single day that I do not learn from students. So there is all sorts of little, po little pockets here at Owen William Smith. Little clubs, little groups, a little, little group of students dedicated to a cause, etc. And if you can, if you can attach yourself to one of those groups, immediately you have a sense of belonging. And I tell you, this is the road here to succeed. As the director of the Center for Teaching and Learning, Susan Planner is a force on campus. She's dedicated her career to understanding society's impact on education, and now she's happy to share her experience on the Hobart and William Smith campus. If you come on campus, you'll see it immediately. When I first arrived here four years ago for an interview, I saw it immediately. This was a place where students were valued, where they were respected, where they could really develop in their own interests, and faculty would help them to do that. The Center for Teaching and Learning uh, the program uh, is a pretty progressive and expansive program that we run. It's not a tutoring program per se. It is um, a way to engage with the material in that department, learn how to think like a physicist or think like an economist um, or a philosopher. Because this is a liberal arts college and it's a really exciting time to take risks and step outside of your comfort zone in learning, the collective and collaborative model, I think, really builds community and connection to one another and helps for us to think about how are we supporting the growth of not only ourselves but other on campus. Thanks for watching. The Meet the Campus team will be taking off next Friday for spring break, but join us the following Friday for another edition of Meet the Campus.